Uh, you have repeatedly made reference to violent extremism and, and hate speech. Uh, one of the companies that has been demonetized by Google repeatedly is Prager University. Dennis Prager is sitting here. He will be testifying on the next panel. Uh, Mr. Prager is, in my judgment, a highly learned, erudite individual, studied and well thought on a great many issues. And in my experience, I've always found that I learn when listening to Mr. Prager, whether I happen to agree with a particular issue or, yet, or not. And yet, YouTube actively censors the content Mr. Prager is producing. Is it your view that Mr. Prager is somehow disseminating dangerous ideas or, or ideas that fit into the buckets you were talking about of violent extremism or, or hate speech? Uh, no, Senator. Maybe if I can just explain. Mr. Mr. Prager is a YouTube success story. Mr. T. Prager has more than two million uh, uh, followers, as I understand it. Um, Mr. Prager's, uh, and, and all of Mr. Prager's content is available on YouTube, the, the, the main YouTube channel. We do have um, a very small percent of our subscribers who opt for what we call restricted mode. These are mostly institutions like churches or perhaps schools where there's certain um, more mature content that they choose not to have access to. Now, this is less than 2% of the overall YouTube watchers, but we do feel it's important that to give those, those institutions that degree of control. There is a small percent of Mr. Prager's overall content, as I understand it, less than a quarter of his content that is deemed to be in that category of more mature. And so for that very small percentage, they will not have access to Mr. Prager's um, more mature content. Other than that, it is complete, and, and just to be clear, these are, this is content, for instance, maybe perfectly acceptable to watch, but for those who perhaps references to violence or war or rape, things like that. So that's the, so that's the basis. My understanding, just for the record, is, is that uh, PragerU has produced 325 minute videos and that YouTube has censored 56 of them, so roughly 20%. Among those that are censored inc include a video on the Ten Commandments. Uh, another one censored includes a video on the history of the nation of Israel. Uh, the restrictions are purportedly for blocking things like pornography, but apparently in YouTube's world, talking about the Ten Commandments and the, and the nation of Israel is comparable and, and, and should be blocked. Respectfully, Senator, that's not right. Okay. Uh, what, what I'm, so so what, I, what, I, what I was trying to explain is all of Mr. Prager, those, those the Ten Commandments, all those are available to 98% of YouTube viewers, 98.5, I believe. 1.5% of our viewers have, in, have activated, again, this restricted mode, churches, uh, schools, maybe libraries, that don't want to have their viewers uh, uh, exposed to more mature content. The video, I believe the Ten Commandments video, for instance, contains references to murder and I believe potentially Nazism or World War II, something along those lines. There are other videos that have in that category, in the, the number that you reference, 56, whatever it is, that may make reference to rape. That's the reason, but they're not censored. They are simply, they're available to everybody who's using normal YouTube. They are not available to the small subset who have chosen to activate restricted mode. 